Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Stream thinking. It's learning how to trust what is in your present place of what is right now. Now to get there, it's going to require some practice. I do one sheet of paper every day. I allow myself 10 minutes to write about whatever is moving through my presence of right now. No judgment. Stream thinking sharpens your skills as a listener, as a communicator, and as an activator. Learning to trust what is right now. This is Stream Thinking. Today we're reading from September 16th, 2023. We are living on a very active planet. From out of control fires and unheard of flooding and hurricanes, it feels like Mother Nature is proving her darker side in a fight and race with the human being. But I had to do some research, and I did find that there are other animals that are destroying the environment, and it includes elephants, locusts, goats, bark beetles, rats, and we, of course, the human being. We might be able to adapt to the changes, but the weather with all of its conditions can truly silence us within seconds. So the question that rests inside my heart, is it costing us more to fix it, or should we rebuild our cities? a strange planet it's really put us in a place of fixed security and what i mean by that is is that we think that we can fix it and then we move on without truly fixing the leak in the pipe a little drip here and there isn't going to bother anything right Mm, that's not true eventually the erosion sets in so instead of putting the concentration on finding a true solution to a situation that has grown out of control We've developed into this generation that seems to say, we'll give it to somebody else to do. Right now, we're focused on the future, not our present, not our past. But we really are living on a planet that is very active. Mother Nature is proving how strong she is. And you know what? We're adding to it as well. Every bomb that goes off in Ukraine, in the Middle East, or in some other part of the world, how many bombs are knocking us off course? It can't be a good thing to suddenly blow things up. It's a strange world. It's filled with so much uncertainty. We seem to be planting our feet in not necessarily now, but up there. Always reaching for something else. Because we don't want to deal with what's going on now. You know, it's almost like what Casey Kasem used to say on American Top 40. Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. I think maybe we need to stop reaching for the stars and fix 